All right, so we are making a movie right now. Yes, we are. This woman is one of the producers and the star of the show. She's so incredible. This film's been six years in the making. Yep, just yep. about. And I, I sat on a, a video recently that was like, so inspiring to be part of this project because so many other filmmakers or people, after six years of working on something, would have given up and would have never been able to experience the magic that this is. Not just for them, but for all the probably hundreds of people that are involved in this film. So, well, I, I can't say that we didn't want to give up. Sometimes we definitely have had some ups and downs with this film, and it's just incredible to be here and to have you here with us. That's a miracle story in and of itself <laughs> that we could talk about another time. But yeah. just like your amazing audition and your amazing energy in this character just brought her to life, and I am so grateful. And not to mention just getting to meet other like just powerful, awesome, badass that women yeah. that you get to work with. We are saying like, let's just do movies all the time together. I know, right? We need to <laughs> yes. do more. But I think we want you, it's like who you surround yourself with matters so much, right? Like even when we first met, before they had it all together, I was just like yeah. supporting them and really just so inspired by the whole story. And I feel like the people you surround yourself with both in films and in real life. Oh, absolutely. Just is a game changer. Like well, it makes or breaks you. <laughs> and that's something that we've been really particular about on this project mm -hmm. is like finding people with the right attitude and energy, to, yeah. like even on our crew and our locations, mm -hmm. like it, we've just been so lucky to bring the right people on. And, and it shows like, being a part of this film, I've said that so many times. One of my favorite things about this is the people that I'm going to work with, not just on the cast, but also on the crew. And I've been a part of other projects where like maybe people in the cast were really cool or like maybe it was the other vice versa, but there's never been like something like this where it just feels like every single person, both in front of the camera and behind yeah. the camera, yeah. is like this family and everybody supports each other. Everybody values each other. Everybody respects each other and appreciates that like every person's job on a film is so important that I don't think happens a lot and makes me mad. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's hard to know like, from the outside like how intense a film set is and like yeah. what it takes to run a film it's set so and we've, we've been crazy. really really lucky to have incredible people mm. running the show basically but it says so much about you know Boston who's the director who's also her husband and Rennie this beautiful girl um, I think it says so much about who they are that they also like attracted and was able to like bring in these all these great people who believe so much in this project because like she said you know if you're if you're not a filmmaker <laughs> um, it is so intense like yeah. to be able to make a film especially like a good film yeah like just even the fact think about this being a six years in the making project that alone says so much about what it takes to make a movie you know like yeah. I've been working on projects for like two years and I'm like, gosh, I get discouraged <laughs> You'll sometimes. Get there. You'll get I'm like, there. oh, what is this it's ever working. gonna you know, happen? Working. And being around her, you know, again, the people you send stuff with really matters because if it wasn't for her, maybe I would maybe give up more easily, you know? But it's like when you see other people do it, you're like, no, I, I can do that, you know? Like I listen to the Rocky story all the time. The Rocky took right. like nine years to make oh and he like had to like sell his dog to live and it's just crazy. The but sacrifices people mm -hmm. make. But. Yeah, but it's so important to talk about because I feel like we all go through discouragement. We all have times where we're like, gosh, we want to give up so bad. And well, I feel like just that one story can change everything. And it's hard to hear just the success stories. Yes. Like if people knew that like even in June, we were really discouraged about this project mm. and convinced it wasn't going to happen, you know? Yeah. So yeah. anyway. It's true that they all go through it, but just like, I love, there's a picture of this. Um, It's like a mining picture. It's like a meme, but it's basically showing like one guy that's so close and he's like turned around and the other guy that just keeps going and it's like you know you never know how close you are to like you know many miracles happening and allowing you to keep going but if you give up now you'll never know like I mean I think that's just probably the story of both of our lives totally. <laughs> um anyways hopefully that's inspiring to you definitely we cannot wait for you to see this movie it's called Alien Country yeah it's check it out be pretty epic what's one of your favorite things like other than the cast and crew obviously oh that, about like a favorite scene or experience you've had so far you know, I so it was funny. We were interviewing Peyton, your the girl who yes. plays your daughter, the other day, Elsa, and she said that her favorite scene was when she was like waving at the the car, the wedding car oh at the end, and like there, there's zombies coming out. And I do think that was one of my favorite scenes to film because it was so much more epic. Like I have been wondering how we were gonna pull off that scene for several years. Like how many zombies are we gonna have? And like it just came out so beautifully. And our crew was on the roof, and it's just like. It was incredible. It, so. I mean, even running out and how we had to like fight the sunset too. Yeah. So like knowing that we're just like, all right, everybody <laughs> and so go. And you know, that's again why it's so important to just have everybody just have this great attitude and just show yeah. up and how much difference that makes. Because, you know, if you have one 
quote unquote diva on set that whether on behind the camera or in front of the camera that doesn't want to just like be a team player and just show up and just play really then you could have you know missed the opportunity and it was it was so cool like the sun was setting zombies were attacking we were running to, there's a chase <laughs> everyone had guns and, and it was just amazing and Casey was just like I was like don't kill anybody <laughs> we're driving out it was so fun um gosh if I had to think of like one of my favorite moments I mean that definitely is a topper you have you know you have so many amazing moments with with Johnny and like I've said many times behind the scenes like you've brought this character to life and brought so much sass to her and just like the you guys have this instant like bond and it's yes. it's hard to it's hard to like develop years yes. of a relationship instantly yeah in a character so and you guys did it and it just mm. shows how amazing you are and how amazing Corbin is and um the sass that you give him just is hilarious <laughs> yeah. like even well we really wanted to bring like a real right like obviously you've been with Boston for eight years right like yeah. so you're together for a long time there is this like kind of this love but it's like jabs you know that you're constantly kind of like jabbing each other or like poking at each other yeah. having fun with each other and so I think we really wanted to you know bring some of that so it felt like this real relationship because otherwise if it's just all like you know daisies even that moment sense. where you're telling him about the men's flusher like you're just like I have some good news for you <laughs> yes. and he's like oh no what is it <laughs> so or like funny. that moment when he said to you uh don't you ever question her yes yes <laughs> like, so true. <laughs> um so you'll get to see more of this in the actual film do you have do we have any idea when it's gonna come it'll out it'll be about a year yeah until this movie comes out because it has lots of visual effects in it and mm -hmm. sound and music and all that stuff but yes. we will definitely keep you updated yes. if you go to aliencountrymovie.com mm -hmm. enter your email address or you can um, just go to at alien country movie on insta and facebook perfect Thanks. and or either one of our social medias because yeah. it's all over the place all over, so. <laughs> but feel free to ask questions comment subscribe like share this with anyone especially other filmmakers or just dreamers out there i think you know we just want to help inspire people that yeah. like it's possible Dreams you know like true. crazy things are possible Mir miracles literally happen like she's talked about so many times of like these like small miracles that have like allowed us to be it's here right now. right now. It's 2020 right now. It's a crazy yeah, year. If you're watching this in a couple years from now, it's yeah. a crazy year. <laughs> it's a crazy year. Yeah. But so. okay, so aliencountrymovie.com. Yep. Okay. That's it. And it'll be in the bottom links, whatever. Check it out. Um, and we'd love to know if you're watching this when the movie's out, what your favorite part is. And or if you want a series too, because we want to do a follow up series. So if you want that, then definitely. That's a real dream. And then we yes. can work together all, all the, the time. time. Okay, ah. so help us make this dream come true. <laughs> if you're watching it right now and you want this to be a series and you're a film investor or you want to get into film and you're like, gosh, I want to support that project, just just let us know. You yeah, know, we're, we're open. You know, we're not going to say no to abundance. You know, <laughs> we're pretty open. <laughs> we're open to abundance. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and to making more awesome movies and working with awesome people so yeah reach out um and let us know okay so i think that's i think that's about it for now we might you come back later today, i think no i think i have one more seat you do i think i have one i for sure have one more seat okay yeah i'm it's, wrong yeah. what do i know i'm just a producer <laughs> I'm just, you know no big deal <laughs> <It's> wrong, so. <laughs> see you later <laughs> So thank you guys so much for joining us on this little behind the scenes of Alien Country. Um, and yeah, if you have any more questions about filmmaking, behind the scenes, I love talking about movies. I'm slightly obsessed as you can see. It was definitely like my childhood dream to get to play, to be an actress in film and TV. And so um, I just want to share any content I can to inspire other aspiring filmmakers um, or even entrepreneurs. They just want to create a life that they love. Um, you can do it, you know, like don't give up. And I love thinking about this quote that what you're looking for is also looking for you. And if you give up now, you'll never know what was truly possible. But if you just keep going, it's about resilience and persistence um, and really finding the joy along the journey. Because if you can't figure out a way to find joy in the journey, you're never going to be able to keep going. So the more joy you can find, the more joy you bring <laughs> to each moment, especially to characters and to filmmaking, more people want to work with you because you're just fun to be around. You have way better time. It's better for your immune system because you just feel better. You have more energy. You can sustain that energy for longer periods of time when you're shooting 14, 15, 16, 17 hour days like you do on films. So yeah, bring more joy, more fun, get lost in the journey and then just never stop. <laughs>